ready now. Go ahead. Awesome. Right. Back to you nailed it. I, I froze a little bit. You know nailed when they say it. like it's fight or flight, and then uh, some people just freeze. Yeah, that was your freeze moment. That was me. I've, that's my first freeze I've ever had, guys. Welcome back to the show. Welcome the number back one to Apple Genius. Podcast. Are you all right? In the world, I'm not. You want to know why? Should I call Amber Lamps? We need multiple Ambali. Ambali. Ambalied too. I After do feel ambulant too. Mark Gurman, where are you, sir? It's like it's he's like it's like Groundhog Day. You know how the groundhog always lies. Or no, wait, he always he that doesn't always lie. He always it's just always <laughs> the same thing every year, right? <laughs> I might have had a misinterpretation like, of Groundhog Day. Changed the entire <laughs> plot to the movie. <laughs> I might have had a different yeah. You know yeah. you know the groundhog. He lies. <laughs> he oh always be lying. <laughs> Welcome back to Genius Bar. What a, okay. t- should we start over? Like, how do we fix this? Do we don't? No. This is the state of how I feel right now because Apple, they dropped some new products this week. And actually, more than just the MacBook Airs, we'll dive into maybe some secret stuff you guys might not hear anywhere else. Oh boy. But at the Genius Bar podcast. Uh, okay, wow. We're wanna, really gonna reveal all the secrets. You want to tell us what we got this week? We got a very thinly sliced iPad. Finally, it's great. It's the best. Uh, just kidding. We actually didn't get any of that. We got a new 13 and 15 inch MacBook Air with, uh, this is Apple's words, not mine, the powerful M3 chip. The world's most powerful, la- popular laptop is better than ever with even more performance, faster Wi Fi, and support for up to two external displays in its strikingly thin and light design with up to 18 hours of battery life. Uh, so, not a new iPad, actually. And no, like, iPad metal accessories. Uh, nothing. The people are pissed. Do you hear the people? Uh, there's so many people, I can hear them right now. It sounds like they're going to break down my door. Um, yeah, this was surprising because it came on a Monday, which is kind of weird. Apple usually drops stuff on, like, a Tuesday, at least in recent history. Mm-hmm. Um, first thing I noticed, the second that I saw this press release, same wallpaper? Like we're not even going to change the the marketing wallpaper. That that's we've had that for over a year at this point. Uh, yeah, I guess I just I not noticed that. I was like, dude, re- oh, I'm saying like too much already. Okay, I got to cut down my likes on the podcast. Yeah, we're, we're trying to. This. How should we get the oh, audience no, to hold are us accountable? It. Okay, listen, we have noticed that we say like a lot, and we don't want to say like a lot anymore. So hold us accountable. Train us. We need like a. Damn it. We need I know, a I like know. It's counter. So hard. Every time we say like, no. you guys should put a little counter in the comments. That way we can be embarrassed and eventually be trained out of it. Every time we say the word like, take a shot. <laughs> Who? The audience? <laughs> no, us. Then, then all of our views are going to go down because everyone's going to be dying. I'm just kidding. That was a joke, and I didn't say of what. Maybe take a shot of water. Here we go. Exactly. Of uh, Cherry Coke Zero? Oh. Actually, don't don't take a shot of anything. Just drink water at a healthy amount. But you know what's got exactly. me thinking of water? What? This new MacBook Air, because it's still the same blue wallpaper. I just I always find that Apple does this every once in a while with products, and I always sense that maybe they rushed the product a bit whenever we see something like this. Because, rush it? It feels uh, like they didn't even try. Well, that's what I'm saying. It, it feels like they rushed it in the sense that they didn't even do a new wallpaper. Which that feels pretty bare bones to just make something look new. And you know what that means. No new wallpaper means no new purchase for Sam. He only buys the new products if they come with new wallpapers. This one didn't come with a new wallpaper, so I word on the street is you did not buy a new one. No, it's I think it's maybe the first Apple product I didn't buy on launch day in close to five, six years. Wow, that's crazy. Um, and that's because if you just look at what Apple changed, okay, I actually, I, I want to talk about how Apple announced this because just if you can see this on YouTube or I can just explain what it is for audio listeners, this is the longest first paragraph of a press release I've ever seen from Apple. What? To I, say okay, what? Trust me, trust me. But this is what I'm saying. Uh, so you'll notice that is like, that's all that fills your entire window. If we go back to something like, um, I don't know, just like the Usher road to halftime. You see how short 
that is and how it's quickly it is, broken up into new spaces. Short. Um, you can go back to, uh, I don't know, another one where Apple announced, okay, big changes here. Even the big DMA, the Digital Markets Act for the EU, you can see it's broken up pretty quickly into paragraphs. So what the hell does that first paragraph say on the MacBook Air page? So it says pretty much everything all in one go. But my first thing that I noticed was this launch feels different. I feel like there's been a shift inside of Apple. And so I'm like, okay, wait, who wrote the press release? Because I'm pretty familiar at this point with the Apple PR people who do this stuff. I have never heard of these two uh, people that wrote it. It's Starline Meza and, God, they have sick names. Lizette Viviana Dupont. Dude, these people are so cool. First of all, that's why they work at Apple. But (laughs) these aren't like the usual suspects. So I almost get the sense that Apple's kind of bringing in some new people. I guess so. For for PR. I mean, maybe they've they've wrote some stuff before. They're going to need to when they're not doing anything special like events or even changing the wallpaper. Well, yeah, it's that. I noticed this first paragraph is a, a monster. I mean, I hate to admit it, but my, my ability to read this much in one go, I was like, ooh, <laughs> that's quite a bit. I need I, a, just put a space a right here. Put a space here with, the, with its durable aluminum unibody enclosure. Um, but then... I noticed something else that feels very unApple like. Okay, go ahead. MacBook Air continues to be the world's best consumer laptop for AI. Yeah, that is a questionable sentence in there. That is a very questionable sentence. I'm sorry, what does that mean? Oh, uh, oh lord, I think we're going to know at dub dub. Sure. This is just this is what we're looking at here sir is a seed. We would call this a seed that is being planted. And they, they have a whole section later in the press release. And I guess they give examples. So to be fair, they are back. They're saying you can do AI math assistance in good notes or on my I do love Pixelmator Pro. That is the goat. Um, CapCut is mentioned in here, which is a TikTok video editing app for desktop or mobile. They talk about how it can run AI models. Um, but also, isn't the MacBook Pro a consumer laptop or would they consider that a professional grade Laptop because I think it has a better oh neural my engine. God. What would they Max. call that? A prep top. A prep top. Yeah, a prep top. <laughs> I just was this surprising to see you. I was. This felt like something Microsoft would say when I read this. Uh huh. Well, it's definitely they're definitely planting a seed here, and they're definitely like, especially. Not they're not saying, hey, this is the first best laptop for AI. Hey, we continue to be the best laptop for AI. Just letting you know, it's been like this for a while. <laughs> just so you know, it definitely yeah. seems like a response to the whole Apple's behind on AI stuff. It's just them trying to be like, it, them saying the quiet part out loud. with like, hey, we've been doing AI for a while. I just made a video about this. Mm-hmm. They have they have been. It's just been way more constrained. Um, I'm curious to see like. How if, if this is part of the press release for a new MacBook update, a MacBook Air update, what the hell are they gonna this is a section in the press release for a MacBook Air. What are they gonna do with Dub Dub? I think my I I'll, I wanna continue what I'm what you're saying in that thought by sort of jumping to something else that I think is parallel to that. Which I is, mean they're definitely gonna be like and everyone gets new AI because we've been making the best laptops for AI for this many years. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm in the minority of saying that right now, I don't really think consumer and AI are a thing. Um, okay. Because I don't really find AI all that useful right now. I think it's really cool. And I think a lot of the, I, I absolutely believe that soon, it was sooner than I ever thought, AI is going to be one of those things that, yeah, it's going to be our kids and whatever will be like, oh, what? You didn't just have something that wrote bases of paragraphs and papers for you and then you change it. You know, it's really good at some things, but for actual hard, large language model stuff, I haven't really found any applicable use cases for myself. Well, that and it's terrifying. (laughs) Yeah, sorry. So I just dropped that bomb that yeah. our kids will not know a world it's, without. It's terrifying AI. and it's going to kill us, but that's okay because when it kills us, I have a plan. Here's today's first ad. 
Oh no, Sam. <laughs> oh no, why are you crying, sir? Why are you crying? I'm no, no, crying. it's okay. You can tell everyone watching. It's because I just thought about my best friend, John Prosser, dying. You want to know oh. the worst part? What? It's not the fact that he died. It's that I got to deal with all this bullshit okay, because he right, never will. Right. Or trust. And now it's left to the court system, and I got to wait seven damn years to get control of his YouTube channel to ultimately no, no. take over no, no, the no, world. No, 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 Sam, Sam, don't worry. I have done something for you. Wait, R really? R prior to my passing... <laughs> I have joined Trust and Will, everybody. <laughs> Yay, welcome back to the show, Trust and Will. Specifically, I went to trustandwill.com slash genius. I got 10% off plus free document shipping, and it's great. All of my estate planning, done for me. Simple price, out the door, one-stop shop. Everything is handled for Sam. He don't got to worry about nothing because the last thing I want to do as a best friend is to, is to keel off here, kick the bucket, mm -hmm. not have any estate planning done, not have any will, and just leave him in the dark. I wouldn't do that and, to him. And, and you shouldn't do that me. to him either. It'd also be your son, Django, a young three-year-old cat who's got <laughs> everything to me. lose. Yeah, yeah if he hasn't <laughs> eaten you by then. <laughs> Guys, this is great. They get all your documents. You can do it all online. Then they mail out the things to you. It is absolutely incredible. They have thousands of five-star reviews on Trustpilot. They're used by hundreds of thousands of families in county. My family, this is not like part of the bit. My family actually does have like a trust and will for like, I think it's just a trust. When they pass, like my stuff will be handled. There's already like, they've prepaid for stuff. It's incredible. It's removed all I'm the stress there, from right? me. I know. It cut out. Uh, so what I'm trying to tell you is this. <laughs> my life, whenever my next loved one passes in my family, is going to be stress-free. So I can actually deal with the emotions. I know what you're thinking. I'm young. Nothing's going to happen to me. And that might be true <laughs> yeah. for now. But one day, the reaper comes for all of us. Yeah. So be ready yeah, you for do. trust and will. <laughs> <laughs> Secure your assets and protect your loved ones with Trust and Will. Get 10% off plus free shipping of your estate plan documents by visiting trustandwill.com slash genius. John, that's 10% off and free shipping when you go to trustandwill.com slash genius. You can't un outrun the Reaper, but you can outrun irresponsibility. The, the scrapers. <laughs> the scrapers. <laughs> <laughs> trustandwill.com slash genius. Thank you, Trust and Will. You're the best. Uh, onto the show. Did you like You're that? You're brilliant for that seg segu, as I used to call <laughs> segu? it. Segu? Yeah. That's what I'm here for, all them segus. Yes, sir. I just, I don't know. The AI, I guess, like you said, they're probably that's probably the most realistic thing. They're probably just planting the seed. Yeah, they're but saying, it just makes hey, me wonder what their, like, what their plan is. I mean, we're going to get invites. It feels very DC. sus. Yeah, soon though, right? Because they usually announce it around the end of March, middle mm -hmm. of March. Yeah. I mean, safe to assume that that's the only invite we're getting, right? No event this month, for sure. Unless, <sighs> well, haven't they done this before where they dropped, they had an event and there was some stuff that wasn't necessary to go into the event, so they dropped press invites earlier in the month and then later in the month they did an invite for an event? Am I wrong? That did happen back in March of 2019, but I believe that was the... Um, that was the services event where they announced Apple TV Plus, Apple Card, mm. uh, Apple Arcade. I think Apple News Plus. That was that. Remember that weird? Yeah, they held it like at like, a school or something. I think this one was at Apple. That was one in 2018 that they did at a school. Which mm. looking back, oh yeah, they did, like it was for an era. iPad. Like a yeah, I remember. Yeah, Wild. when they brought the Apple Pencil to the original iPad. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly, exactly. Um, so no, no March event, I guess. I guess. This is it. This is all we're getting. According to the one and only Bloomberg, Bloomberg's Mark German. What does Mark said, German say? He said, new Mac, iPad, and Apple Pencil Magic Keyboard updates are coming, but don't expect the launch event. Mark, you said months ago there was going to be a large event. No, don't expect it. He said clearly, don't expect it. Why would you expect <laughs> like, it? Why would you expect it? Because Mark said- free? Hold on, I have to Google this. Mark Gurman, oh March boy. 2024. Are we even allowed event. to do this? I feel okay. That was six days ago. I feel like there was one. Okay, of course these are all from six days. Ago. Yeah. Um. Didn't he say this in October? My oh, here we go. 
Uh, oh, remember when German said this, that Apple was planning to release the Vision Pro headset in March? Oh, I don't think we're allowed to do this. I don't think you're allowed to go back and look at the things he said incorrectly. I think this is against the rules. I'm just reading through this. This is very interesting. Well, I can't wait yeah. till the Vision Pro comes out this month. <laughs> I'm really excited for that. Um, do you think it's yeah, going to be guess, disappointing or is it going to be great? I think it's going to be... Is it going to live up to all the hype? <laughs> I think Vision Pro is mid. Oh, well, that you, I don't think you should say that before you try it. <laughs> well, I guess I'll have to try it <laughs> soon then. Um, so, yeah, basically this came out like no Apple event for the launches. However, even though Apple just... Well, German basically said that there's going to be a press release drop on Apple's website. But he was very sneaky. He always is very sneaky. He's always very sneaky. I love this man. It's what makes him so iconic. It's what makes him my favorite rumor person of all time. Yeah. Because he's just, he's very fun and very cheeky. So this is what he said after this tweet where he was like, there's new stuff coming, but no, no launch event. So the day before the new MacBook Airs launched, he goes, a few additional points. Retail stores are low on MacBook Airs and iPad Pros. Stores are planning a minor refresh for this week. I think it's an accessory rather than a new product. And stores are planning a larger refresh early next week, which sounds more product related. So German did not think we were getting these MacBook Airs this week. But we did. But we did. So then, considering that he specifically in this tweet, I had said, you know, he was like new MacBook Airs and iPads are low. And there's a major, larger refresh happening next week. Yes. That's him basically saying like, oh, it's going to be iPad next week. That's what you would that's what you would think. <laughs> yeah, based on the words written, that's yeah. what would be. So I said this and it caused a whole kerfuffle. You said what? Well, it's deleted now. Okay. I had to retract what I said on Apple Track because I had posted a tweet that I think was exactly along the lines of new iPads likely releasing next week according to Mark Gurman. Okay. Which I think based off of what he said is one to one. They're likely coming. Mm -hmm. I didn't say 100%. I didn't say the iPad Pro specifically. I said new iPads are likely coming next week, considering that he literally said a major refresh is happening next week and we already got the MacBook Air. Yeah. Yeah, he asked me to retract it, and then there are a lot of people. <laughs> you might, like, you might need to change the, the name worst? to Apple Retract. Yeah, and I was like, somehow I'm always the bad guy. And I don't understand. I feel like I just take people's words and put them in a larger audience and people are like, ah, you can't do that. You can't be doing that, pal. You can't read you can't into what I'm it. saying. Yeah, yeah. You can't type what I said in a different way. Yeah, so, that's yeah, not allowed. And he trouble. demanded a retraction and it has since been retracted. But uh, it's really seeming like he doesn't know what's happening. Seems like they've yeah, confused like even Mark Gurman. Maybe things have gotten switched up. I'm trying to find if I can see He tweets the... a lot. Yeah, man, I mean, that's, that's what we do out here. I'd be tweeting too. Oh, here we go. Found it. I never right. said that. Not even close. I'm asking for... Not even close, Mark. <laughs> see, like, that's close. what I'm saying. That's not... What a, it doesn't even matter. It's all good. It's all goofs here. That was a great. <laughs> that's really, really good. Don't you ever um, say I did. But, like, I think it was just, like, seeing, like, somebody, Zach, who I love, obviously memeing. And then people would be like, yeah, likes to steal content. <laughs> Apple Thank track you, attendance. U.S. Tesla. Market. And I'm just like, I shouldn't let it get to me. I'm not going to lie. I was, I, I was upset for, like, five minutes. Which is oh, usually, were you really? It's usually, like, it's usually, like, 12 seconds. I'm and asking for like retraction on. on that sad. Oh, yeah, it's been retracted since, but no, okay, I wasn't good. sad. I was just like, ugh. I'm going to go work at Walmart for like five <laughs> That's how I felt when uh, anyone criticizes me. Okay, bad. so what the fuck is happening then? Okay. Tell, lay out your vision. If he said, if, so? if, if iPads come next week, he's going to be like, told you. I should repost the exact same tweet. <laughs> like he's going to say, I told you so. Or he's yeah. going to, or the typical Mark Gurman thing, as expected. New, new like, iPads as, as expected. As outlined last November in my power on subscription yeah. newsletter, new iPads in March, which fair enough. Can't it just happened to be in this enough. right under the paragraph about Vision Pro coming in March 2024. We won't talk about that paragraph. Only this one. Yeah. Uh, so, what okay, about what about thing. a release every Monday? 
here's what's making me think it's not going to be next week. Okay. Because if you look further at what Marcus has been saying, Marcus also I feel like he's not the one we should be taking it from, though, at this point. Yes and no, but he also mentions this. He, when the new MacBook Air came, he was like, well, new MacBook Air today, more to come. Mm-hmm. So he's like, Apple's not done. Uh, he talks about this accessory that he previewed. Okay, wait, no, it does sound like overnight because he follows up by saying the what MacBook Airs happening? are coming on Friday followed by the minor refresh. What? So that sounds like it is going to be the major refresh next week. Wait, What? Here's that accessory. <laughs> the new Ma- Dude. If LeBron was a technology reporter, he'd be <laughs> Okay. Oh, dude. What? So this is okay, this is the final cap, because I know everything's confusing. How is he, how go. is it just getting worse every time he talks? He said, I've written that the special version of iOS 17.4 for the new iPad Pro isn't scheduled to be ready until the end of the month. That doesn't allow align with an announcement this week. What? So is that saying next week or is that saying the end of the month? Can I tell you why I'm so concerned about this? What the fuck? Go it's ahead. because we both have a flight on Tuesday. We do. We do. We are leaving. So it's sounding like I'm a, my ass going to have to be up at 5 a.m. on Monday and Tuesday uh-huh. And then somehow make a video because the new iPads are actually going to be a big upgrade. Like it is, I mean, I hope it's been six years. I hope they're a big upgrade. If they're not, yeah. I'm going to be actually upset. Uh, Cause I feel like six years is enough time to innovate a bit. You No, you would think so. Maybe just a longer paragraph in the newsroom. <laughs> Maybe that's it. <laughs> Maybe okay, it. Well, I've written that the special version of iOS 17.4 for the new iPad Pro isn't scheduled to be ready until the end of the month. That doesn't align with an announcement this week. And then Apple Is, did have briefings in person. Mark, for Arm, Apple, somebody so like, needs to teach him just to say words like a man, like a human. <laughs> but then he doesn't have plausible deniability. Like, why you got to talk like an eight ball or like a fortune cookie? <laughs> Just talk, like, just talk. Just talk regular, Mark. <laughs> and it's not even like clever. Like it's not even like he's yeah. mystical. He's just fucking aloof. So I think that I that doesn't align. But wait, if it's not ready till the end of the that, month, so that's him saying that the new iPad isn't coming till the end of the month. I think, right? Yeah, that's that he's is telling the vibe, people, and that's what I actually I, is he telling people that expect a new iPad this coming week that the schedule doesn't align with that yes so at the end of the month but also as soon as it drops on Tuesday he's gonna say as I wrote new iPads in March yes of course it's just Ma- not shipping until the end of the month Mark <laughs> my lovely tech reporter yeah. I don't want to tell you how to write, but I do want to say it shouldn't take anyone this long on a podcast to decipher what you mean. <laughs> you should just say like what you mean. He might just not know exactly what's happening, so he's just sending out. Yeah, it just notes, sounds which... like things went awry at the beginning of this week, and he's just like, ah, ah, ah. He doesn't, he doesn't know now. When, once yeah. there was only a MacBook Air, he was like, okay, ah. <laughs> there was some exciting news, though, that I think got – obviously overshadowed by a new MacBook. And that is that you, did you see that the new default Mac is the M2 redesign? It stays. Version? That's sick. It stays. That's actually, dude, that means you can get this for $8.99 for education. It's a great that Mac. That is an insane, insane deal. It's a great Mac. For the battery life of Apple Silicon and the power. I mean, M2 is not like insane for power, but I think, okay, I mean, yeah, the 256 and eight gigs is not... Why are they so can we talk about why they're so stubborn? That just doesn't seem like okay, no, it's not I'm not even gonna play dumb here. We know the prices of SSDs. We know the prices of RAM. It would be but like this a special percentage. SSD, special RAM. I know, but this it got does fairy seem dust. insane. 2024, and we're still at base. 
I mean, for the M2, for the M2 that's been out, okay, sure, fine. Bring the price down and leave it at that. But the, sure. But for the M3, bro, dude, how can it that's still? Uh, this has got to be the last year of that, right? Right. We've said that for five years. I, but it can, they can't <laughs> really keep doing that. That it, the, the storage cannot keep starting at 256. Eight gigabytes of RAM. I don't. Okay, maybe the eight gigabytes of RAM is more acceptable, but two fifty six gigs of yeah. SSD. That's come on, man. Come on. It's insane. It's wild, and I, 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 mean, I could have a thought and fill up that storage. My only idea as to why Apple is doing this is that maybe so many people pay that extra hundred dollar. How much is so? Yeah, let's spec this out. So we, if we want the base MacBook, we're going to college next year, but we want can't wait. Just like five twelve. So it's, wow, it's $200 Ooh. more. Yikes. So now you're at prices for the, or no, the 15-inch starts at, is it $12.99 or $11.99 for the 15-inch? Now let me check. I don't remember. Oh, so it's, so okay. So the second you upgrade your storage, dude, see how their pricing matrix is evil? evil because <laughs> now it's like the second you upgrade your storage to double it's like well you could get the 15 inch for that same price yeah now. but and then you go to the, who 15, wants the inch. 15 inch nobody what smaller better smaller better no the 15 inch is the one to buy the 15 no inch smaller better every way what? smaller better Okay, kind of cringe, but as we continue to go through the pricing, <laughs> um, man, so, yeah. So if you upgrade your RAM, if we go to where we think this should be, dude, you're paying four hundred dollars more. That is a <laughs> that bit is of diabolical. Money. Diabolical, 15. he said. Wait, and then they just let you wait. They let and you it won't even get there until March twenty fifth, bro. They don't. They just let you pick the power adapter. Since when have they done this? What? So you can get a thirty-five watt dual adapter or a seventy. That's how watt. they get you. But no, that's just included. You get to pick. I know that's how they get you. Notice how you were just complaining and called it diabolical about the storage, but now you're like, yeah. oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> how nice of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Why, so why about- didn't you get it? You're the guy that always gets them. Not even for a TikTok? Because uh, there's no new color. And oh, that's why? That's act, that's not, I'm not even kidding. That's why I didn't get it. Because then no one would know that you got the new one? It's pointless? Yeah, nobody's going to watch a TikTok of me unboxing. I'm like, oh, M3. Yeah. You could just unbox the one you have now and say M3. I don't have one now. I don't have oh. a MacBook Air. Drats. Um... I mean, they're beautiful. Uh, they're really impressive computers. I've spent what all, what is uh, Tech YouTube saying about this? Because I've been staying away. Uh, Max Tech started off by saying it thermal throttled, but then they were like, "Oh, that's what they, they do at every new MacBook." <laughs> isn't that it was the, sick? I isn't I was that the laughing. cycle? I was laughing. Um, first of all, I love Max Tech. Just to be clear, oh yeah, um, we, we're, we're Max Tech stands over here. Sometime this month, they're they're really cool guys. Um, but then. Like, I think the first comment that I saw was like, of course it's going to do this when you, uh, (laughs) (laughs) don't worry folks, the channel put on another video, we were all wrong, the MacBook Air is amazing. Oh, they Um, replied. It's actually a pretty dang good MacBook. Yeah, guys, we love your videos. And hey, they are, I watched this whole video, it's a good video. Um, But then we found today, they did something pretty exciting, where they said that, that Apple fixed the remember the SSD was slow. That was the big controversy on the M2 series. Yeah. Uh, let me try to pull. But it. only what some of them it's, were slow last time. Yeah, it was like the base 256 MacBook because there wasn't enough RAM. Mm. Remember, Apple Silicon can use the RAM. So yeah. can use the internal storage as RAM. Yeah, for the unified up. memory. But then the problem was the s- storage was too slow to like handle that. Oh, okay. for on high workloads so then people were like oh it's bad because Apple, not only did Apple cheap out but the performance is you know, actually you know, bad. you know the classic story of everyone buying the base MacBook Air and trying to run After Effects very to be very fair, common trope in this case it was to the point where you could just have a number of Safari tabs open which is extremely mm-hmm. realistic for most people yeah. especially college students and it, you could notice slow, slow, like sluggishness a little bit of lag which was pretty yeah. annoying 
Apple fixed this. So they, they listened. Um, that feedback was helpful. And the new MacBook M3, they discovered that, look, you can see- Oh, wow. They, it, it's basically where it should have been always. So they fixed it. Wow, look at that. Cool. Yeah, I mean, like full on props to Apple for doing this. It shows that it's better. I mean, just pretty much in every way, even in like transfer speeds with the SSD, it's just better. Good job, Apple. So, if you are buying that base, I think it does make that same exact config a year and a year, year and a half later better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is cool. So yeah, props to Apple. Better Good job, Apple. Thank speed. you so much. Now next year, let's it. do it even better. 512 at least yeah. to start. Or else. I just really want to see the new iPads. I keep going back to that. I... So you don't agree with the new drop every Monday for the for the rest of the month? That well, there's only silly. two more products to, to drop this year. Sorry, this month. <laughs> okay, wait. Well, um, we got we got cases, didn't we? Didn't we get iPhone cases? Yes. Sorry, I want to talk about that. This is very exciting, guys. Yes, very new exciting. Accessories. Look at all these spring colors that are so fun. Mix, Too match, bad. MagSafe. <laughs> so creative. Um, okay, does it tell us which ones are new? Okay, so yeah, soft mint. First of all, I don't buy Apple cases because I think that they're just pretty <laughs> average. Um, okay. Sunshine. Why are you laughing? Because I they are. I agree. Yeah, like they're overpriced. I mean, not that every case is an overpriced, but they're just fine. They're they're not yeah. my style. I totally get the appeal. They're super clean looking. They're you know perfectly. They got an Apple logo the on the back, so yeah, pretty sweet. Oh, and pink is new. Look at so that. So I can do pink on my 15 Pro. How lovely. It's actually kind of clean. Apple, so, yeah. they really... I remember us last week, we were talking about, uh, like, privately right after the show ended, like, are we going to have to do an emergency episode? <laughs> That's the energy we're going into this week with. And then they really just dropped the ball on us. <laughs> well, hey, we got the new light blue 45 millimeter sport band, the new sunshine... Word. Sport band, the new soft mint Apple Watch sport band, and pink was been around because of the Apple Watch. Yeah, we love pink. I do say the more that I see this red Apple Watch, I'm like, that's kind of, it's kind of cool. Are you gonna get it because it's red? No, but I I am getting more and more excited for the Apple Watch Ten. I Watch I hear X. you are. What? what do you mean you hear I am? You're done. I'm done what? Your projects with him are done. Oh, You're this is this off. is previous. This is m- much previous. I this is something you've been working on for uh, a minute, I hear. Mm-hmm. It's very cool. It's very okay. cool we're working <laughs> okay? on. Okay. So don't tell everybody. I'm not telling anybody. The- I just said at this point, you're the one telling everybody. Okay. You could have just nodded. So my next video, I think the next one that I upload is going to be about iPhone 16. We've got a ton of cool renders. I sort okay. of like show off the prototypes and how Apple lands up where they do. There's a fun little twist. Okay. Very good story, I think. I hope. Okay. I recorded it like 3 a.m., so I hope it's good. Then, then, probably in like two, three weeks, I will be dropping very fun look at what we think the Apple Watch X is going to look like. Can I ask the why renders. three weeks from now? Oh, we're just, he's busy, at, our, our boy Concept Central, Shay, is busy at work, and then it just takes a while to, you know, make the video, get the renders, mm-hmm. make sure everything's perfect, so, you know, it's a little, little bit of a turnaround time, we're a two, two-person team, but yeah. very, very cool, he's been showing me the progress, I think it's the favorite renders we've ever done so far. Oh, hell yeah, I'm excited to see it. The model, have you seen the model yet? No. Nothing. Let me, let me send you a I've teaser. Just, you know, I've a just teaser. heard, I've just heard rumblings um, in the jungle. I'm going to send you a little looksy pooksy. Uh, okay, this is not the best angle, but I do think it gives you a good look. Are you ready for this? Okay. Get your live reaction to what we're, we're cooking up. Okay, I'm waiting for it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That looks really nice. Fun. Holy shit. Yeah. And it, it's based hot. off all the rumors, too. So it's not just like... I mean, and we're insert Will Smith, that's can. hot meme. Yeah, so I'm very excited for that. But yeah, I just... I, I'm thinking about the Apple Watch 10, and I'm thinking about this new iPad. I just want to... 
I want like a leak of this iPad Pro. I want to see what it looks like. I know we've seen the CADs, but we haven't seen, is there new materials Apple's using? What does the new metal keyboard look like? How big of an upgrade is the Apple Pencil? I really want to see this stuff. And it's still very odd to me that we're not getting a launch event for, I mean, seriously, this is the first major iPad upgrade in six years. And there's still like press release. That's weird yeah. to me. That's very odd. For but I mean, major, how much can you I, say on stage? It's this much thinner. Uh, that's it. See, but they've done uh, multiple keynotes for previous iPads or multiple, you know, sections at keynotes for the M1. It's like, that's mm. just a chip and the uh, M2 iPad Air. I mean, these are all parts of keynotes. Mm. I guess it's just probably because the MacBook Air admittedly very tiny upgrade. And then I guess the it didn't, iPad They didn't even Air. put a new wallpaper on it even. That's what I'm saying. What's didn't up? they do that for the last iPad Air? Didn't it have the same wallpaper? Or am I wrong? Yes, they just slightly tweaked it. You're correct. Okay. So if we go and look at the iPad Air currently, yeah, it's the same. Oh, that's the regular iPad. They, wait, does the iPad Air just not, they just don't even have it on the homepage? What? I thought they had all the products on the homepage of the iPad. Okay, let me try to find the yes, confirmation the new iPad Air is coming soon. Uh, yeah, they made the wallpaper darker. Like it was the same style as uh, 2020. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. But then they made it. They didn't even make the, the MacBook Air one darker? No, it's just oh, the exact Apple. same wallpaper. That's why I don't understand. Uh, is it hard to get an iPad right now, an iPad Pro? I was looking the other day and it didn't seem like it. So I was like, did German, did he lie? Why did they lie? <laughs> did he lie? I don't know. But yeah, I was looking. Um, <laughs> God, just the amount of steps. <laughs> to, oh my to order God. An iPad, it's man. just an iPad, brother. Just Ooh. why? Ooh. Oh my God. We're not done. Oh no. No. Hmm. So you can just kind of get it. Here, let me enter a zip code. You know, well, you know where we live? Beverly Hills, not actually. Well, we uh, have. Okay, yes. What? They're just everywhere. <laughs> we have. A new iPad Pro and a new iPad Air supposedly coming. Are they, Do you think they're coming on the same day? I mean, my gut would say yes, but also... Or do we know. do iPad Pro and accessories? Or is no, is, is the MacBook... Or no, iPad Air, is that getting new accessories? I assume it would... Or maybe it'll work with the old Magic Keyboard. What I'm is happening? Sure. What is That's happening why and know. why isn't it fun? It's keeping me up at night. The iPad line's keeping me up. Even after we tried to save page. it. We, yeah, we tried. <laughs> Apple has all the answers. Because there's a whole page just called keyboards for iPad. Mm -hmm. And there's like yeah. the magic keyboard and there's the magic keyboard folio, which that thing is really bad. I've tried that. Oh my God. And then there's the smart keyboard folio. Still buy that? Wait, then there's another. Why are there four iPad keyboards? Well, there's about to be another one, a meta one, right? <laughs> part of it's supposed to be metal. We're here in the top case, like the keyboard part, but then. Okay, well, we, then need the a, we need to make we need to make a call here. Then we've got all the Apple Pencils, John. We've got the second generation Apple Pencil. We've got the Apple Pencil USB-C. USB and then we've got the Apple Pencil first generation. <laughs> and then there's going to be the Apple Pencil third generation. Ah! I need to know. I, I have to know if we're getting an iPad at all this, this month or if this was all made up. Or are we getting something in April? We are 100% getting a new iPad this month. Okay. And that's on God, when? as they say. Do, is this now, information timing, that you know? What? Do you, do I just you don't know, know about things? the timing. I don't know about the timing. But do you? But that's you're not answering my question. I'm not answering any further questions, Your Honor. Okay, just look at me. Eye contact. Sam, do you know about any iPads this month? I'm not talking to anyone. Okay, so there's iPads coming this, this month. According to Sam, somebody at Apple, Apple hack, tweet that. Apple, that's also not true. Until he I'm asked for retraction. making a guess here. Because it didn't look like you were making a guess. 
When do you think new iPads are coming? JP? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't heard anything. <laughs> I'm heard asking shit. you. <laughs> um, I mean, it sounds kind of like next week. Apple usually does hold events, you know, in the earlier part of the month. So, by the, the way, part. we are recording this on Saturday. But, so, when we're saying next week, it tomorrow for you. This week is basically what we're saying. Yeah. Well, I'm surprised that we're recording this not at the absolute last second. I'm very proud of us. Me too. Remember when we first started this show and we were so, like, official? We were like, we're going to record on Friday and then release it Monday, and we're going to be, like, very regimented. <laughs> and now we're we at the so... very last day of the week every time. Yeah. Taking up every day. second that we're given by life. It's a beautiful thing. But, I mean, what else are you supposed to do when Apple isn't helping you? Mark Gurman isn't helping you. We're just, someone threw us out there in the Atlantic with some floaties and they're hoping for the best. Yeah, we got nothing to work shark- with here. <laughs> there's a family of sharks getting closer uh, by I know, the day. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? I don't know. I don't know. I just, I feel like, I don't, I personally don't want it to be next week just because it's going to be a really busy week. And Well, be- uh, we're also Genius Bar in person next week. Yes, fingers For the crossed. next episode. So, it, Apple, give us something to work with here. As long as no of our Boeing planes crash and burn. <laughs> or, or lose a tire. <laughs> it was United, too. That's who I fly Yeah, with. things are really sus right now in the Boeing world. Yeah. Real sus. Really bad. That's okay. Dude, they kind of... Now that I think about it, they kind of run their like company that involves people's lives and is a hundred like million dollar industry. Like we run the podcast, <laughs> they're just kind of like, ah, yeah, let's just kind of see what happens. Yeah, it's Set like it even there. though the plane gets new carpet or like a new screen in the a new display in the seat in front of you, that plane is still from 1998, and we ain't talking about that for some reason. <laughs> but it's even some of the new ones too. It's just kind of like, oh, we're going to throw out some new merch. New merch is a Boeing 787. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, okay, so I guess I guess we'll see what happens this week. My gut, I think, says it's going to be this week because, of course, it's going to be the week. But Mark Garman, if iPads come out this week, you better not even so much as smirk. Don't, I don't want to even – I don't want to see nothing. I will I be on your nothing. ass so fast. In fact, I'll turn on tweet notifications for Mark Garman this week just in case. Just in case he's, he tries to be smart about it. Wait, you don't have tweet notifications on for Mark in general? Why like would I do I think that? I, why would ca- I do oh, that? Oh, you don't care about Apple News anymore. I that's do. Like uh, no, person. I do, but why would I put on tweet notifications for Mark Gurman? I, half the time it's going to be about some NBA bullshit. <laughs> I think Mark Gurman might have... It might have been the first account I ever turned on notifications for, and I think they've probably been on for... He doesn't even tweet his, like... You could get on Bloomberg first. Or from 9 to 5 Mac, when they see Bloomberg's story, they'll tweet. I, Mark's pretty good about sharing at the same Is time, he? I think. Uh, I, I, should, I should take your word for it. You have notifications turned on. Yeah, yeah. one of us has notifications I have notifications on for Apple Track, so that's how I know if Mark Herman says anything meaningful, I'll just get it from Apple Track before it's retracted. Hey, Sam, you know what's hilarious? Cybercrime. <laughs> I was actually going for the opposite. (laughs) I was going to say, you know what's hilarious? Genius Bar. You know what's not hilarious? Cybercrimes. Because identity theft, Jim, is not a joke. Harassment. Did you just call me Jim? It's an office reference. You wouldn't get it. You're not cool like the rest of us. Uh, Listen, Sam, I know you've been harassed. I know you've been scammed. I know you've been annoyed by robocalls. I know you're not immune to these things. And what about your political views, you lefty bobefty? Could your political views make you a target of cybercrimes, identity theft, and even... Violence. <laughs> it is every podcast. But hey, guys, thanks to Delete Me, who sponsored this episode Yay, of the Delete Genius Bar. Me. We love Man. Delete Me. Delete Me, welcome back to the show. Long time running sponsor and the only sponsor that's going to keep you safe online. All of your information, all in one place. Here's what happens. Data brokers, these are they're little gremlins. They go around and they steal your data. Either they buy it from other unknowing websites or the websites just give it to them. Maybe they got your data through a hack. So many ways to get your data, and now it's all over the internet. And there's too many data brokers for you. What are you going to do? Go to everyone's door individually, knock on the door and say, hey, can I have my data back? No. That's why Delete Me does it for you. Delete Me will send men to their door. I don't know if this is ex- exactly how they do it, but they send men to your door. And they will knock Virtually on the door of the through. data brokers and they'll say, you give okay. us back that data or else. Or else. I think that's how it works. 
Yeah. And then once that happens, you get to see a little dashboard and you can see all your stuff get processed and you get little updates about what's in. It's it's the best. You get to see your data come back to you. It's absolutely incredible. It's a service John and I have been using for some time now. And listen, guys, take control of your data and keep your private life private by signing up for Delete Me. Now at a special discount. Special for discount. Our listeners. Guys, today get 20% off your Delete Me plan when you go to joindeleteme.com slash geniusbar and use promo code at geniusbar at checkout. The only way to get 20% off is to go to joindeleteme.com slash geniusbar and enter code geniusbar at checkout. That is J-O-I-N-D-E-L-E-T-E-M-E dot com slash geniusbar. I don't know about you, Sam, but staying safe and keeping your data off the internet, priceless. But in this case, we'll give you 20% off price, price list at joindeleteme.com slash geniusbar with promo code geniusbar. Thank you, Delete Me. German did have a good story this week about the Apple card. Did you see another one? Oh, it's gone. Well, it was, it was a bigger story. I'm going to be full honest. I didn't read all of it because it was a lengthy boy. And I just yeah. I like to be immersed when I'm and reading And we know stuff, once, but... the, once that first paragraph is a little too long, Sam's outie. <laughs> no, it was just that I... A lot of the time, I don't have the full mental energy to like sit down. And what the something. hell am I looking at? So this is apparently what the Apple Car, and I, based off of what oh. I've read, this does seem to be the closest to what it was gonna be. <laughs> Why's it got a face on the front? <laughs> Why is it? It's making this face. <laughs> like speaking what? of that face, why don't we go to our next sponsor? Here we go. Which sponsor was that? LinkedIn. Remember where I went the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Okay. We put it in there. Okay, welcome back to Apple <laughs> Car. Uh, yikes. It looks like the magic school bus without the magic. Or the children. Or the children. Has a camera bump on top? Sick. What is on? What's that on top? <laughs> what am I looking at? I don't know. YouTube.com um, slash Genius Bar if you're listening to audio and you want to see it. Uh, you no, know, you can't find it on Twitter. You can only find it in one place, and that's YouTube.com slash Genius Bar. We have, we, from we have the icon, only access. At Icon Work, it's his uh, illustration. I mean, it's kind of... It's kind of a vibe. How'd a door open, though? Like... And, well, can you do that for the class again? <laughs> no. Nice try. <laughs> nice try. Uh, okay, well, in that case, I'm glad that that did not come out. It's kind of cute. Do you think so? Would you buy that? Would you drive that around? I feel like this kind of looks like if I was turned into a car. Like, it's a little fucked up, but... It looks like an cute. air fryer. <laughs> Are the, uh, also, do the wheels have lights? <laughs> yeah, they said they were going to have, like, white on the tires somewhere. That was, like, a specific leak. Like, why do you have to be... Why do you got to go this hard? The, this would have probably shipped know. if they didn't try to make it do this. I just... <sighs> the amount of money I would pay to see the prototypes that they had. To see well, this in person. I'm sure we'll see it eventually, the same way air power prototypes eventually made their way out. See, I feel like these may be a bit harder. Uh, to, no, they're much to, bigger, to, harder to miss. <laughs> I also feel like for... They never announced the Apple car. The air power was announced. This yeah, is, that's true. This is technically never even real. Well, in that case, we should be glad. So that no steering wheel, right? No steering wheel, controlled by Siri, augmented reality stuff in the windshield. <laughs> controlled by Siri is the funniest. A car controlled by Siri might be the scariest sentence. Could you imagine? like, Dude, she can't here. even set a timer for me. How's she going to get me to anywhere? Do you? Okay, that's a good conversation about the Siri rumors for iOS 18. Because that is sort of like, aside from the redesign, mm -hmm. which German has also confirmed is, is going to be a big design overhaul this year. He just says it's not going to look like Vision OS. Okay. Which, fair. But I think there'll be a lot of inspiration from that. Yeah. At least I hope, because I love Vision OS. Um, did we think Siri's getting better? I mean, any, any, anything is better than this. <laughs> She could just, yeah, if she got slightly faster, it'd be miles ahead. I just feel like we've been punked so many times, man. But the year of AI, if it is the year of AI, then she's got to, right? I did have a thought the other day. What was your thought? I have many thoughts every day. What was your thought? You know this thing. What thing? Oh, God. Oh, God. Which one is this? The humane one? 
the humane AI pin. Okay. The thing that you wear. Yes. And it has this little laser screen. You touch and hold. The whole point of it, you touch and hold it. You ask questions, and it'll search it's, the internet. And it tell shoots you. out a laser on your hand. Yeah, it's got a camera too. Um, let me show you some camera samples, which they seem very proud of for some reason, even though they look really bad. <laughs> um, even though they I mean, look listen, really the bad. Web, great website design, like f- absolutely phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if I would trust the speaker on this and also isn't everybody else going to hear it, so I'm good. Anyway, this thing is basically claiming to revolutionize the world through AI. It's this little device you wear on your jacket. I've kind of been clowning this for months. Some people say that when you see it in person and use it, it is more impressive, which... Sure, maybe. Maybe. But I only have one thought for this. You know how What is is your one thought? Have you seen the maximalists that say this is this is game changing? This humane AI pin, the fact that you can just ask it. I have not seen people those in. people, but I will pretend for the okay, sake of the yeah. show. Yes, seen a few of those people. Wow. The same thing. Have you seen have you seen this? The rabbit. Two hundred buckaroonies, no subscription required. Yeah, direct competitor. No subscription. Arguably way cuter. Yeah, way cuter. Has rabbit in the name. It's got a camera that can see the world around you. Hey, I have an idea. What it is. Isn't Apple making Siri better? Like if they build large language models Hopefully, AI yeah. Siri, isn't that just going to kill all of these on launch? Because you're Oh, yeah. These things, own. days were numbered before they even announced them. Yeah. Yeah. Like my, my only for thought. Yeah. My only thought is, yeah, right now, Voice assistants, like, cannot do all of this. But guess what has a camera? Your phone. Mm-hmm. Guess what you already own? Your phone. Well, I think that's guess the pitch all- for these. Is like, you're not connected to your phone. It's like, you're more, you, you have the choice of being more disconnected, I guess. Is the pitch. But this doesn't have iMessage. <laughs> no. No, it doesn't have iMessage. It does not. No. Mm-mm. No, no. You're you're laughing, but that means every iPhone user, if they text someone on this, is going to come as a green bubble. They're going to be kicked out of group chats by using this. Mm. It's going to be from a different phone number because you have to ba- pay a subscription and your own phone number with this device. And I just don't really get how this product. Sorry, I don't get who this product is for. Max Weinbach. Seems like the guy for that. The only person. For Ian that. Zelbo. Yeah. Ian, That's who this Max, is for. There's your demographic. Two people. All right, that's like two hundred. Two very, two very nice people. Twitter, so. But yeah. uh yeah. Max and Ian. Uh, yeah, I just keep thinking. This is a it's a cool idea to be able to ask a question and it just is. know immediately. And the but, demos that they've shown, they do look they're pretty cool. Contextually aware, pretty cool. Yeah. Although AI very inaccurate sometimes. The launch video had a bunch of inaccuracies, which is kind no, of No, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about it yet. We've edited it out. Which is, no. <laughs> that's not a euphemism for what the future of AI is going to be like. Then I don't know <sighs> what it is. But I just feel like Siri is going to do all of this. If, oh, yeah. If this is the year... It, and it sounds like based on the wide reporting, not just from one source, that this is actually going to happen this year. Yeah. That you will and be able Apple to And Apple themselves just, laughing about AI when asked about if they're nervous about competitors. And Tim Cook saying we're going to break new ground in AI. They really are oh, yeah. hyping this up. They, this, yeah. better, this better not be Which a Which is like, very, they, they don't even it. do that. Like, you didn't hear them going, we're going we're gonna to break ground with AR and VR before... Like they they denied up and down that they were working on anything like that. Damn, that's crazy. But so for Maybe them to I be like a video, f- say what? I think I'm just gonna copy you and make a video about AI. Okay. Smart, but well, we know it works. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It feels it feels weird that they're just being kind. They're starting to be more open about it. Yeah. Uh, so that means that. If if they're like teasing it and laying and planting some seeds now, that must mean what it actually is is more shocking than not. True. And like you said, they laid another seed in the MacBook Air press release. Yeah. For why? Like what would be coming? 
Huh. I mean, I will say, I do think a version of Siri that for the first time can answer any question would be pretty groundbreaking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was just sad. Because, like, a on paper, that's users. what she's supposed to do. Because here's the thing. I mean, a billion iPhone users overnight being able to have that functionality, no one even thinks about an AI pin or yeah. a Rabbit R1. Also, the fact that you need it, that Rabbit R1 is specifically that you need, would carry around a separate device. <laughs> like, like a little Tamagotchi or something. Yeah. I don't know. That's just, we're back in 2000s. Yeah. Um, but like you said, E for effort. E I, for effort. <sighs> So Siri, what else? I mean, what else could it be? I, That's what I'm wondering. I'm like, what could it specifically be for to where on the MacBook Air page they're mentioning AI? Like, what is coming? What could be groundbreaking in the Mac world? Siri, that runs on all platforms. Yeah, I guess just generative AI stuff. I, I don't guess. Know. I'm think I'm trying to think through this. Maybe y'all in the comments can let us know down below or in the reviews. Are on, we missing something? Or Apple Podcasts. I don't know. I, I've been thinking about this a lot, and it does seem like Apple has something big to show. I'm very, very excited for WWDC. And you oh, guys yeah. should be excited for WWDC for multiple reasons. Or else. More info to come. Or else. I'm not gonna threaten you. I would never. Oh, I will. He will. It, listen, if 50% of us threatened you, that's 100% of us. Because we're a That'd unit. That'd be if 50% of us threatened you twice. No, we are a unit. So whatever we I say counts for both of us. Hey, you want to talk about your Vision Pro review? Oh, yeah, I forgot that went out this week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah bro, let's talk about it. This oh, was crazy. That, one of the, one of the hardest internet. videos ever, I've ever made. Taken to internet. Oh, wait, why did I search MKBHD? <laughs> also, uh, happy to report it's three out of 10. So uh, it's like right now, it's in the same spot the Tim Doc was around this time before the nice. Tim before the Tim Doc c- took off. So uh, thank God, or else I would have put myself in a, in a <laughs> pond, I think. Uh, yeah, a Vision thank Pro God. review came out. Uh, everyone was very, very, very nice. Uh, Is this a practical shot? Yeah, that's real. Wow. Yeah. Is that your eye? That's my eye. I, Wait, I, I also just forgot to took too many about takes something. of that. Go ahead. You cheated on me. I cheated on you. Yeah. Go you ahead. thought I wouldn't notice. I cheated on you. But right here. Where's the that? rock? No. Oh, there he is. Found him. Nice try. Yep, there he is. Brian, son. Who is Brian's son? I've never seen that guy before. And he probably looks a lot like another guy that you've seen before. That just goes by uh, Brian. I'm going to guess. Wait, that's just that's just Brian? Yeah, the guy the the guy, that guy, not the sa- not it's different from Brian's son. Who is he, Brian's son, and why did he help you with the review and not there, me? <laughs> we should have had, I mean, we should have had you dressed as Boss Baby as the baby on the playground. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funnier. That would well, have been way funnier. Yeah. Oh, we should have, but we didn't. Um, yeah, uh, thank you for all the love on the review, and I already have my next idea. And Sam, listen, dog. It is what you would call a banger. But all your ones have been. I will tell you. I will tell you what it is, and I'll bleep this part out. Hopefully, or just censor this part out. Okay. It is. uh, Okay. Yeah. We're doing. Oh, that's a really good idea. Yeah. Yep, you like it? <laughs> yeah. Um, imagine really like imagine showing clips. Imagine Come visit me. I'm literally going to see you. Here. I'm literally going no. to see you in 48 hours. That's us that's us visiting each other. 
True. That is us me. visiting our dad. Andrew Edwards, our dad. Andrew Edwards. Yeah. I when you really sit back and think of it on paper, it seems really goofy that we're going. Well, we have some objectives for this. We do have a, we do have objectives, but on paper it looks it looks very silly. You wouldn't know that we're going yeah. to see our dad. Yeah, I'm a little a little stressed about this week because I have kind of a lot of work to do. You're stressed about this week? I haven't uploaded in like two weeks almost. Oh yeah, I know that feel. That sucks. It's just like it's like even though you're working every day. No one is seeing a new video go out, and then every day that goes by, you feel like a piece of shit. It's not even that I've been working every day. I kind of needed to take a little break. I just think mm. I'm burnt out of YouTube. I go very, I'm very like YouTube polar. Like I'm very like. And on Apple off. isn't helping us currently. No. We were supposed to have an iPad, a really thin iPad, uh, not an iPad Air, new accessories, new Macs. We only got a Mac. Are you all right? Are you going to cry? <laughs> you look like you're going to cry. Are you okay? <laughs> no, I was just thinking about this act, the fact that I said YouTube polar, and then I was like, is that offensive to people who actually tell, suffer tell, from bipolar disorder? Nah. And then I was like, I don't want to be that guy. Should oh, I my goodness. That? No, now we're I not. said it, so now it's out there. I'm well, sorry let's just cut bipolar. out the last 15 hard, minutes. I've heard that medication and therapy can maybe help. So will help your YouTube polarness? Oh, my. No. <laughs> okay. What's the last? Oh, well, I didn't even talk about the review. It was really good. And oh, thank I you. Think people should watch it. Thank you, Sam. When's your when's yours coming out? It's a good question. See, the problem is now that we're on our trip this week, this was going to be my work week for that. So now uh, I'm like delayed another. Are you pin, days, are you pinning so. this on me or on Andrew? Edwards? No, no. I'm just I'm I'm pinning it on circumstance. Okay, we'll just pin like, it on circumcise. Yeah, I'll pin it on circumcise because <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know. I, 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 know, you I know my thoughts. I know how I feel. You gotta. It's very different than how you feel. I bet. Um, and it's very disappointing for me as an Apple fan. I heard, are we allowed to talk about that? You had a certain... Yeah, what have you... You had a certain Apple Store appointment? Oh, yeah, we should talk about that to wrap up. Okay, go ahead. You, uh, he got fitted uh, to try yeah, to, I went to the stop Apple store. the hurdy. Face McCurdy. Um, the thing is, all they do when they, to fit you in store is use the same app. It's the same yeah, app. they do. And then they scan your phone after you do it. Yeah. Um, no, no dice. I tried. I tried multiple different light seals. I think f- three or four. I tried okay. multiple different cushions. Okay. One, two, three, four. Uh, I tried multiple different uh, headband sizes. We tried smalls versus mediums and larges, and all of it was either almost the same or slightly worse and more uncomfortable. Oh, good. So you um, you did end up with best case scenario and your best case scenario still doesn't feel good on your face. Yeah, it, it hurts after some time. Now, I, I did, uh, I mean, I, I don't care about giving away the review, uh, unlike some of us I did. on the show. Yeah. I, 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 I give am. mine up every every Genius Bar. Yeah, every episode so of Genius Bar. too. Okay, good. Give it up, Daddy. Uh, well, I'm not going to give up all of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just joking. Uh, I... Well, go on! I think, I think... <sighs> What? You're killing me. It's the wrong form factor. What do you mean? Like it shouldn't have been a headset show, but glasses? Yeah. Headset bad. Headset bad. Headset inherently. And it's not an Apple thing. It's a headset inherently bad. Okay. And that's my worry. And that's my frustration. However. Okay. Headset good for one thing. Porn. Headset king. Uh, Sure, but... (laughs) <laughs> well, I guess that would fall into this category of media entertainment, but I did watch a movie. Okay, and it went well? All right, Sam, put on your corporate face. I need you to smile. Look at the camera and smile. There we go. That's why today's episode is sponsored by LinkedIn, everybody. We love LinkedIn. Welcome back to the show, LinkedIn, because they aren't just another job board. No, 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 no. 
LinkedIn, exactly what you expect. Yes, this is a real bit. Yes, they paid us for this. LinkedIn has a vast network of more than a billion, with a B, professionals, which makes it, I don't know if you know this, but the best place to hire. It gives you access to professionals you can't find anywhere else. That's because LinkedIn is LinkedIn. And LinkedIn does all of that while making the process easy and intuitive. Hiring is easy when you have that many quality candidates. You're like, who do I have a pick from? It's so easy, in fact, that 86% of small businesses get qualified candidates within, guess what, Sam? 24 hours. That's only a day amount of time. I didn't see the face. How long have you been making that face? <laughs> You've been making that face. I obviously did not get Sam from LinkedIn. You would not. You would get a quality professional <laughs> elsewhere. I, mean, I was supposed to not break the whole phone. Yeah. Guys, listen. This is just one of those services that you're like, how is this real? And it kind of just makes sense, right? You're like, LinkedIn's where all the people that are looking for jobs for. Wait, what if we connected those people with the people needing the people looking yeah, for jobs? Yeah, LinkedIn just built it's- a special bridge from them to us. <laughs> yes. It's a magical rainbow bridge. And guys, right now you can post your job for free at linkedin.com slash geniusbar. That's linkedin.com slash Jesus bar to post your job for free. Of course. I'm sorry. Did you say free? I said free, but terms and conditions apply. It is free, but I'm just That's like, That's insane. No. That's crazy. Did you conditions. know that two and a half million small businesses use LinkedIn for hiring? Yeah, add us. That's like actually a lot. Yeah. A add us to it now. Oh, and thank okay, you, LinkedIn, for sponsoring. You're the best. LinkedIn.com yeah, slash Genius Bar. One of the best experiences I've ever had watching a movie in my life. Jesus Christ. All right. There we go. Well, there's that. What movie However, was it? Uh, it was Soul. 3D. Uh, yeah. Pixar. I can't watch 3D that movie. Part, 3D part was okay. Sometimes it Disney, was better than I, it, it, Sometimes Disney can just fuck themselves, man. Because <laughs> there is no like reason it. a movie should do that to you. You go and watch. I'm going to watch a Disney movie and you come out fucking shook. I, the 3D was cool. I'm still not sold on 3D movies. Okay. But I am leaning further in the direction that they are not as much of a gimmick as I thought. Yeah, some movies are better in 3D. Entire. Yeah, but I, in general, I still kind of just feel myself being like 2D. For like yeah, I don't want to see, I don't want to see a live action movie in 3D. Yeah, so I'm kind of split on that, but. My problem is when I was watching this movie and having this great experience, I just constantly kept being interrupted by, oh, it's a little heavy here. I got to keep shifting mm. this around. Man, I wish that this was lighter. Man, the fidelity is really good, but like it does get really bright sometimes. And man, I'm kind of feeling some eye fatigue after a while. Mm. And I know that these are all things that can be made better, but I'm just like, oh, I just feel and so the, And the glare, because... was it terrible? Glare was rough. Glare was Where'd rough. Where'd you watch it? In the cinema? Points. Uh, I watched it in the Disney Plus theater. Oh, okay. Which was great. Um, I think the Apple Disney Theater Plus environments are really cool. Yeah, I it was cool, and as of right now, that's the only thing that I see myself doing on this because the more I use the product, I don't know what's going on, but the eye tracking is day by day. Some really? days spotless, no issues. Other days, I am so infuriated that I will really take it off, stop what I'm doing, and not go back to it for the rest of the day because it's so wow. I don't know how it your eyes work. are so big too. I don't know how it doesn't how it doesn't track them. Yeah, it just is like, dude. It is a. Uh, I go the back eye to tracking is always perfect for me. The hand tracking is the part that's not. They're both inaccurate in their own little special ways. Mm. And I've just realized how infuriating it is after growing up with touchscreens that are 99% accurate and mouse and keyboard, which is 100% accurate. Yeah. How frustrating it is when something is less than 99% yeah. accurate. Um, Especially when that's your only input method. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing is I'm like, uh, there's just a lot of things that I know people had good intentions about, and I know they work crazy hard on these technologies. Mm-hmm. But ultimately think it's a mistake. A mistake? Holy shit. Yeah. Yikes. Is that what Not your review is going to be? But, but parts. Um, I don't know. I don't know the title yet, but I... Apple big mistake. Apple pants bad. <laughs> Apple, pa- Apple pants. I just, yeah. I mean, it, it's... Yeah, it's just off. The fact that I've been using this thing for 
a month, almost every day, and mm-hmm. I'm still not sold tells me that there is a problem with it that I need to explore in some way and and find that out. And I think I have figured out. Like, I think the thesis of my video is pretty good. I feel very confident what I'm saying. I do feel like I, I've now given pretty much every single part of it more than a fair shot. I, I say I'm finally in the po- point of my relationship with Vision Pro where it's no longer – I wonder what else. It's just, this is what it is. Mm. And I know now exactly how I feel about all of those experiences. Um, okay, so review tomorrow is what he's saying. I thought about actually just sitting down doing a not a review where I literally just <laughs> That would be so funny. You um, should. I've thought about doing that and I, I've even thought about just putting it on my second channel because I know that most Vision Pro content is not going to perform at this point just because the buyer base is so tiny. And... But it's about to be in other countries. Sure. I just, I also don't think people really want to hear what I have to say. Why? <laughs> to be honest. It's just because the early adopters are very excited, and nobody wants somebody who's excited to be somebody being like this bad. I think you should post it anyway. Not on the second channel. You got to stand on business. It's not that I'm not standing on business. It's just that when I run a business and there's like sponsor slots and views matter, I'm trying to keep those numbers high. Mm. Puts me at a weird parallel because now if it's like if I'm dropping below 100K more consistently, then the rates go back down and then you mm-hmm. can't get the monies to then expand the business. You can't get the monies, the yeah. Um, yeah. But I do think movies is, is the killer use case. I, I think that's the killer use case right now mm. without a question. Well, I'm glad that you That's, actually had a good movie experience. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really special. Uh, it's which really which uh, do you good. use the dual loop? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. No, it's the only possible. And I, I have adjusted the dual loop to like finally get to where more of the weight's on the, my head. So it's just corner, sort of like resting on the front of my face more than like pressing against it. Mm-hmm. And that has helped. So I would say like mess with your dual loop sizing. But again, it's just with the sizing, there's so many things that – going to make it's it's inherently and that's what i keep going back to is the form factor is inherently a super hard sell Hmm. and i'll close by saying i think you have to tread very very carefully when you start to mess with people's core senses as humans okay and i think head headsets visually impair too much Mm. right now i'm not i'm not saying one day where they won't the screens won't get insane but like Right now and for the foreseeable future, I just don't see how. I mean, yeah, just something in front of your face. That's exactly what it looks like, too. It's kind of always going to be something in front of your face is where I'm. I'm Wait, did they try to make the bra look like Vision Pro? Let's see. It's perfect. looks just like it. Flawless. Can't even tell what that is. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. See, I feel like you gotta you gotta feel good now that your review's out, right? Because I still am kind of in the trenches. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, homies. what m- mostly like it's really fun being able to just use it mm. because I was putting it on. I had it on for longer than any person should have to have that thing on for multiple <laughs> days in a row, and none of it was fun. It was all like trying to capture footage a specific way, do a specific thing, capture the footage in 4K. Like you might notice in the review, like. None of that footage is 1080p from the unit. It's all it's all in 4K, and uh, developer capture only captures 60 seconds at a time. So you got to get the take perfect, and I would do it so many times, and it was oh. just a it was a nightmare. Certain things like uh, like ev- every one of those shots is planned. Other than when I show Brian with the camera, you might notice. I mean, <laughs> maybe not. Uh, the camera is never shown in the review. So, like, there's times where the equipment is shown, but, like, okay, when the camera's clearly looking at me and I'm setting up eye tracking and hand tracking, it then cuts to hand tracking, and all the equipment is there, but we had moved the camera, so you don't see the camera Mm. anymore. So, it's, like, we're trying not to take you out of it and break the fourth wall. So, every shot where the camera was, we would take the camera out, so you never saw it. A lot of things were simulated, like, uh, just a small detail no one will notice, but, like, when I'm talking about um, the motion blur in Vision Pro... That motion blur isn't actually captured in the video recording, so we simulated motion blur in that to what to how you would see it, and we didn't put anything on screen like simulated or or anything like that because um, we wanted it to seem seamless. But like a lot of extra effort in places that well, no one will ever know, <laughs> just because I'm an asshole and that's what I did. 
I went too hard. That's that's my mo. Uh, so what's the next video? From you. Uh, the next video is about why Apple is the best. Okay, what's the actual next video? The, I mean, that's kind of the video. It's like uh, it, we cover the whole the the fact that the top. 10 selling phones, smartphones, the top seven of them are iPhones. So we go over that like a little news story and then we're like, but wait, why is it like that? And then it dives into a <laughs> deeper thing. Bro, how are you becoming the Apple fanboy? And what I'm, do you mean? I'm, I'm like, I didn't I'm say anything about being tenure. a fa- fanboy. I just said, this is the data. Wonder no, why the data is like that. Call why Apple the best. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's the title, but <laughs> you're funny as hell. The, those, that's the data. I didn't make it up. I didn't make seven of the top selling phones iPhones. That's just that what we it is. Have. Should we Me, make our single handed? I've been thinking about that a lot. Should we like make a our genius own? phone? Like I'm, I'm, yeah. If you buy it, you're a like genius. The, like the soldier phone. <laughs> and uh, it has no ringtones or alarms. It's only episodes of Genius Bar that play. <laughs> Just screaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Okay, Genius Phone coming right up. Okay. Dude, I actually, I've What's rediscovered our merch recently. Like, I slept the other night. That's with, our bomber uh, jacket, Genius isn't cloth. it? Yeah. It, it really do be our bomber jacket. Can you see? Uh, yes, thank you. Please don't. F- yep, yep, we see it. Yep. <laughs> yes, sir. Dude, it's kind of a fire ass jacket. I ain't going to. All I'm gonna lie. Uh, we, we ain't ship junk, as Steve Jobs would say. I know, but I, I'm I just think like, he said it better is, than that. But merch is so fun, but it's just so hard and time consuming. And it is really hard. Then they make you pay taxes on it, which then you just have to pay like a thousand dollars of taxes to Missouri. And then they're like, "We're going to be mad at you if you don't pay." And then you have to pay it. And then it's like, "Well, there goes most of the profit." We for we for forgot to, we forgot to pay the taxes, and Sam had to come get me out of prison. It was a whole basically. It was just a, it's just hard. I just want a team, man, and I want the funds to make a team. Well, I could have given you a LinkedIn ad right now, but I'll choose not to because hopefully we played it earlier in the show. Yeah, hope, hopefully we did. Hopefully. Ho- hopefully we did. What's your next video uh, then? This iPhone 16 one? Next video is going to be iPhone 16, and then after that will probably be something iPad related this week, okay. unless Apple drops iPad stuff on Monday because I'm are waiting you gonna for cover the, Are you going to cover that stuff? Oh, yeah. I mean, if if it's... Yeah, I'm going to cover the new iPad. I'm okay. trying to figure out how to cover it because just like Apple new release thing not doesn't do as well. Mm-hmm. Some Well, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's very hit or miss. I feel like for you it do. Consistent. Yeah. It depends. I, th- I, I think I just – I need like a more creative angle mm. or name it something more compelling rather than just like new iPads released. I think that's the problem. Like the content's fine. It's just like getting people to to click. I'm interested to see how my next video goes because I did sort of play around with some more storytelling aspects in my iPhone 6. That's how we like sort it. That's sh- how we Shea like Concept it. Concept Central inspired me. You inspired me to keep doing that. Um, and I don't really know if it worked. Like I feel like – sorry, I'm saying like too much again. <laughs> I feel as if – because that's a synonym for the word like. Mm-hmm. I feel as if, and I feel a lot of things. Okay. Um, I never know how, I, I always finish a video and feel like it's terrible. Yeah. Yep. I finished that's recording very real. the other night, and after I lo- <sighs> Your last video did great. And there's storytelling no, in that. I know, I know. But I I literally felt, I I, I worked on the intro. Just the first 20 seconds of my next upload for 45 minutes straight Mm -hmm. before I did anything. Mm -hmm. I was up till 3 a.m. I started recording at I think 1 15, 1 30. Uh (laughs) It's a long sesh. It's actually, I haven't started editing it yet. I need to do that, some of that today. But I just never know. I guess I don't know when to trust myself. Because I kind of did the same thing with the iOS 18 video where I said, I don't know, is this going to be cringe? Or like, No, you said to me when you started it that it was a good video. Or that you thought. Mm, the iOS 18, I was more confident. I don't know. I think this was just a different concept. And it's not that I the old formula for an iPhone 16 video wasn't working. It's just how do I make it work better and get people mm-hmm. to watch longer? And that's storytelling, as annoying as it is. Because mm-hmm. um, it requires a lot more work and... They do. I mean, I'll, I'll just tell you basically how I structure it is rather than just being 
you know how I normally do it. New iPhone 16 leaks and rumors, exclusive renders. Here you go. And mm-hmm. then just running through everything. Um, I phrase it more of a, so this is the first year we've gotten an inside look at the prototypes. We've sort of seen three released. I want to show you all of them and then I'll let you know which one Apple goes with. Mm-hmm. And I sort of walk through prototype by prototype, the differences, why Apple might have made certain choices. Um, and then there's a little plot twist. A plot twist? Yeah, at the end. We love plot twists around here. Yeah. Well, but I, think I, I, I expect to see that video early then. It's it's always I'm very bad at getting videos ready before they're ready. Hmm? <laughs> what? Like when that video is done, it's usually being uploaded. Oh. So it's like when you would see it early is when everyone would see. Yeah, it. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I'm I'm waiting on sponsors. I've got a couple mm. sponsors that I'm waiting for approval. I don't want to burn a video that I know will do probably pretty well without having a sponsor in it because mm-hmm. then I need the money. It's very annoying to have to do it this way a lot of the time. And I definitely miss, I would just think I miss old YouTube. Remember when we could just sit down at the camera and get like an okay amount of views, just talking, just yapping. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I miss that. Those were the days. Those were the days. Now no I, trying. <sighs> And then I think after that, it'll be something iPad. And then maybe after that is going to be my first cool banger of the year. And then there's two more bangers in progress for much later in 2024, but still scheduled to launch. One craziest video I've ever done. Second, arguably crazy, crazy video that you're going to be a part of that you might not even know about. It's going to be a fun collaborative video. I'm going to go to the Apple event and I'm going to get everybody's reactions of what they think of the new products. And it's going to be like a vlog. I think that's going to go crazy viral. I'm joking that I was just memeing. That's not the idea. I don't get to be in your video. But have you seen those where like the people go to the Apple event? They're like, Marcus, what do you think of the new iPhone? He's like, (laughs) yeah, the dynamic island's cool. And then they just go to like the next YouTuber. Oh, thumbs up. Well, I want to, I want to be in that. No, you're not going to. What if you only? What if you only ask me? (laughs) Then that's called a podcast. That's called Genius (laughs) Bar. I love it. Um, But no, the second second idea uh, you will be in, uh, and you will be a part of, and it will be very cool. Do I know about this? And multiple people are going to be a part of it. Yeah. What it is? I know about it. Guess I'll have to tell you. Yeah. You didn't know you were going to be in this. I don't know what this is, but yes, it's to whatever to it studio. is. That I'm going to be in? <laughs> yeah. I get to be in a video? So is Luke. So is probably a number of other people, hopefully, if they this want to This feels way less special. Like you keep adding people. <laughs> I'm just adding cool people that I... But I'm the coolest. That's why I mentioned you first. Okay, good. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very excited. It sounds like you've got some banger videos. I just have been struggling with what? with some motivation, to be honest. For why? I had a couple of days last week where I didn't really think about YouTube at all, and I was the happiest oh. I've been in months. <laughs> that's sad. But that sounds yeah. really nice. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, that I was just real nice. Like it, you know what it was? It was the day that I got the kettle corn. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> you guys might remember I was munching on last week after being lied to. And yeah, hurt. people were upset about the kettle corn. We're, Every time you decide times. to eat on the podcast, it's a bad idea, and you are you know this. You're told this every time, but you I do know. it anyway. I know it's because I'm rebellious and a you are. <laughs> you are. But I was just I had gotten. I don't know why I've been on this kick lately. Maybe I should, honestly, I might treat myself today with it. Raw cookie dough. Oh, bro. Don't play with me. Don't fucking play with me. There's this place in Burbank that I've been going to in LA, which is pretty far for me Mm -hmm. with traffic. But yeah, I think after this, I'm going to eat lunch, go for a run in Santa Monica. Cookie dough. And then go get cookie dough, I think, is is a dessert. Because, dude... It was so good. There's this is not the same thing as the cookie dough, but I saw on TikTok like a couple weeks ago that Walmart 
has started putting out their own candy bars. Whoa. Like, okay, so when you go to when you go to check out at a Walmart now, right next to the real candy bars are Walmart's candy bars. And let's say regular Snickers is like a dollar seventy. Seventy five cents for the Walmart one. Dude. Now at first that idea by itself is like, oh shit, Walmart coming for everyone's throat. And so I and so but people were talking about that it was delicious. And I was like, okay, probably like at best it tastes just like a Snickers. So I got it one. And it is a problem in my life now. <laughs> first it really of all, is that good. First of all, you can buy one, but second of all, they sell them in a pack of six too, and that's where it gets sketchy, a little dangerous. It is so much better than a regular Snickers bar, and I don't know why it has to be this way. But the milk chocolate is milky chocolatier. It's so mm. good. It smells better. It tastes better. And it is a problem. So much to where, like, I had that first one, went, oh, my God, and then was thinking about it for a week straight. Basically, through most of the takes and clips in the Vision Pro review, you know <laughs> that my mind was elsewhere. I was thinking about I was thinking about this fucking candy bar. Oh, my God. It's so good. Uh, I'm drooling awesome. right now just thinking about it. Jesus oh Christ. Oh, my God. Dude, they've got you. They got <sighs> it's so It's so ridiculous. 75 cents? But I it's say basically, You're say, basically stealing it. Yeah. I bring up the cookie dough and the kettle corn to say, did I remember just driving with no video due, no sponsors that I had to turn in? TikTok was done for the day. And I was like, is this what it feels like to be off? I and I was so. just eating my fucking cookie dough. Hell yeah. Even, I mean, to be honest, not really paying attention to the road or That's what was fine. in front of me. Just eating we don't my need cookie dough, that. going down the road, and I was just... Vibing. I was just vibing. And it was really fun, and I had a great time, and... But I now say you all don't feel like that? that? No, I because now, I because of that... I now don't have a video out. It's not edited. There's bills to pay. There's little concept centrals to compensate for their hard work on little, renders. Little ones, little concept centrals. Yeah. And oh, work is stupid. Yeah. I, Let's I feel live like off this the grid. A, oh no. I feel like the if there's two people pitch. that could do it. No, it's no. not the van thing. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe maybe not solo. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't survive. You wouldn't survive. But maybe together. We could successfully <laughs> live off the grid. Our skills combined. Hmm. Dude, I think if we were roommates, we would kill each other. Oh, yeah. I feel like we would wrestle oh, yeah. every day. Oh, yeah. We Every time we're in person, <laughs> there's an incident of some sort. There is. <sighs> there really is. La, 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 was it last time we were together and Luke and Noah had to physically break us apart? In Where were we? In like a dessert place. At Dalai like, Lama. There was no reason for us to break out into a fight in a Dalai Lama, but they Would physically had like to pull to us apart. Why the fight started? I think I think time is up. I think we gotta go. It was because I was carrying my plate over to the trash can and I had it, I was holding it out in front of me like as a joke. And he, he without thinking just goes like he fucking <laughs> eats this thing on the ground, and now there's blue ice cream everywhere in this poor restaurant. We have to clean it up, and he, and I was actually upset. I was ready to fight. Yep. And then I cooled off three minutes later, which is usually how I work. And I don't really get worked <laughs> up, but you are. There's certain people in my life that I just don't. The like normal human response uh -huh. doesn't exist. Okay. Where like you will do something to me, and I'll just go mask off. Bare knuckles with you instantly. <laughs> it's amazing though, isn't it? It's, oh, I loved cleaning up that blue ice cream. Oh. I remember every scrape that I had on my shoes oh, from the blue ice man. cream incident. I don't even know known why. It was the, just, it just felt like it had to happen. Known as the BII, the blue ice cream. The BII, yeah. Or the Bicky, the BICI. Oh, man. And what, and what was that time well, in the middle of the night where you, what did you find? A, a cockroach? What oh was it? Oh my god, dude. The cockroach was ridiculous what at that was same it? trip. It was yeah, it was at the Airbnb. It was a cockroach. Oh. I'm shitting my brains out at 4 a.m. And all of a sudden little Jerry comes scrambling in. Jerry. <laughs> and he murdered him. So also I specifically yeah. remember getting up in the middle of the night to go into Luke's room to turn his fucking smoke detector off because it was 
He was beeping in the middle of the night, and for some reason, people don't care about smoke detectors. What they're there are YouTube videos that I watch where people are just being normal and talking while a fucking smoke detector dies in the background. Are what? you all right? No, that's insane. That's actually ludicrous. <sighs> what? That's real? Yeah. Who like, does that? I, I don't want to mention names, but they are psychos. I need names and addresses. We're going to clean that shit up right now. I can't, like, I can't imagine living your life like that. Ugh. Awful, horrible, horrible, terrible, very bad day. So I'm trying to sleep. It's like 2 o'clock in the Airbnb in the morning. We got shit to do the next day, and one of y'all's fucking smoke detectors are dying, and no one cares. That was a weird trip. Remember when you were also like ill for a few hours randomly and you were like, I'm going to throw up everywhere. I, yeah, I did. It was like one whole morning where I was not a person. And then you were just fine. Then I was fine. Yeah. It's almost as bad as your random stomach ulcers that just occur. <laughs> like, Dude. Every time Sam I'm goes fine, somewhere, though, there's like a couple days of recovery where his 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 bowels need to catch up with the rest it's of them. It's probably just anxiety. I got I got checked out, and they said that I had a scare three weeks ago where I was tweaking a bit because mm -hmm. my pancreas levels were like high. Yeah, my amylase and my lipase were super high, not super, moderately high. But you ended up being like, okay, oh, no. dude. I had the most insane. I think that I think I have trauma from that week because I had. I've been having the most insane loose like dreams lately. Okay, go on. Dude, my dream last night yes. was that my pancreas had to be removed. Okay. And I didn't want to let go of it. So I was like in the hospital and everybody's trying to get my pancreas. And my parents are there the and they're like, it's for your own good, honey. And I'm like, I don't, I'm so scared. I'm like, why is everybody trying to take my pancreas? People like stabbed me with this like multi needle thing what in like, the my hell? mouth. And my mouth was going numb. Dude, it was, you know, those dreams where you wake up and you're so, you feel relief because you're not in that in re, like in real life. Uh huh. Yeah. I've had three of those dreams separately this week that are That's just about random, Your terrible poor life events. Brain. And I wake up and I just go, Oh my god! And then I feel for my pancreas, and it's right there. <laughs> and then I feel for my pancreas. <sighs> I did change something this week. I got blackout curtains. Okay, Do you think so your body affecting... doesn't even. Is this it's... like is this first blackout curtain since you've moved, or first ever? So it's not – it doesn't take out all the light in the room because there's slits in the windows because I cheaped out and didn't, didn't get the, like, the premium line package. I just got the okay. cheap – it wasn't even cheap, by the way. Everything in LA is too fucking expensive. I hate this shit. Anyway, my $1,200 blind upgrade, which was just changing out the fabric to be black. Okay. All right. Doesn't even cover all the light. All right. Are you Okay. I feel a little ripped off. I'm not going to lie. So you think blackout curtains are causing you to have these dreams? Dude, I don't know what happened, but something's going on, and I don't like it. I don't want to go to bed. Is it all the cookie dough? <laughs> and the kettle corn? And the kettle corn? Know. You know what they Am say. I just a child? Okay. I'm excited to see you and Andrew this week. I guess it'll be fun if Apple drops stuff. We can do it in person about the new products. I'm sure Andrew will just have them already. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Or at least Actually, we should ask him if he's heard anything. Yeah, not let's that he do would that. tell let's us. Put our friend in, let's put our friend in jeopardy. He would never I tell us. That. Historically, every time I ask him, he goes "fuck off" like that. That's what he says. And then he comes to your house and punches you in real life. And then, yeah, punches me. Oh. <laughs> you guys wonder why I haven't posted any videos lately, <laughs> or why it takes so long in between? It's because I got away from my black eyes to heal. Oh, yeah. What am I going to do? Put out a video and go, I fell down the stairs? <laughs> no, Again? I'm going to tell you the truth. Andrew Edwards comes here and he hurts me. Guys, that's going to be all. Wow, what an episode. episode. Hour 42 minutes of actually nothing. I'm impressed. I actually think that was a banger. Apple, come on, homies. Do better. Be better. Give us new iPads. New iPads. Please. Or else! Please give new iPad. Need content. Running out of content. 
Eh. Look, I can new do that too with my new camera. Whoa, that was really satisfying. Look at that depth of field. Come on, camera. Wow. Block, you gotta block your eye. There it is. Whoa, there it is. Jesus. Ah, I don't I like, look like that. I'm, I'm a cinema. Hey, tickle, tickle, tickle. No, don't tickle. <laughs> When's the last time you were tickled, Sam? It was 1940. I was in a dark alley. <laughs> Tickling is the worst. That, like, I think tickling me is the easiest way to get hurt. Wait, I can't, really? You should, no one, I should never be, I can't tell you the last time I got tickled, but I know. Siri, remind even, me in four days to tickle John. I will hurt you. I will, fight or flight, man. Listen, I, it's, when you tickle me, it's basically like someone has to lose their lives and it's not going to be me. What if it's the tickle monster getting you? Yeah, I'll kill the tickle monster. <laughs> Fuck that tickle he's, monster. He's unkillable. <laughs> he's in my dreams too. Okay, hopefully new iPads this week. And sorry that there was no real. Well, the MacBooks were. We talked about. Well, that. the this week's episode will be in person, and we'll make up for if this episode is bad. Wait, we got to plan what equipment everybody's bringing, don't we? Easy. Do you have those stands still? The who? The mic stands, the metal ones. Somewhere. You should find those and pack them so we don't forget them. That is like smart. That is smart. I think I do. You do you not have one of them? No, you took it back. From I took me both. You said you were gonna. You said you were gonna return it. That didn't sound like me because we got. That's true. That doesn't sound like you. We. I will forget to return them. Number one, but also, uh, <laughs> we have used them multiple times since I could have returned them. I think we've only used them once, and I think we, we used them in them person again. here, and then we used them. Didn't we take them with us on our trips? I think we forgot them. Let me check that in-person episode. Genius hmm. bar. What a fun episode. Well. Um, I'm trying to find... Bring oh, my... I just saw a thumbnail with Sarah Dietschy. I miss Sarah. I hope she's doing okay. Sarah Dietschy rhymes with peachy. Uh, oh, I do... I, I guess we bring our microphones. And those. I'll bring those stands. And we, and we bring good vibes. Too, right? Cameras, probably. Yeah. Where is that episode? Podcasts are stupid. <laughs> Why? Because they take so long? Oh, like, wait, you're right, John. We did bring... We Okay, you're right. We brought them to the, the episode. I'll show you right here. A classic. Where you said I looked like a Make-A-Wish kid. <laughs> you are dressed like a Make-A-Wish kid. I'm sorry. Dude, why do I look true. younger there? It's so true. Oh, do you say I'm why do you look younger? Like a week and a half. It's been a stressful yeah. year. Really took its toll on us. <sighs> Dude, it has been a stressful you year. You know how people like uh, show pictures of the president before and after they leave office? <laughs> yeah. They should show us how young we were at the start of Genius Bar and now. Oh, this is where we talked about the cockroach. It is where there we talked is! about. Yeah, there it is. There's the cockroach. <laughs> The cockroach was very scary. Also, this episode goes down in history as the worst sounding Genius Bar episode ever made. Oh, yeah, this one. I thought you meant the current episode. We're, we're no, 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 no. The one that we're showing. It would just sounded so bad. Couldn't have made it sound yeah. worse. Wow. Okay, guys. We'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> see you next uh, week. Bye.